Well, guys, after dealing with all the BS the last few days, with my YouTube channel getting hacked and all that, I am finally back to uploading videos again. Now, of course, my channel is still not fully fixed yet, but it's done enough that I can actually done mean upload stuff again. So anyways, now that I have time to do it, since I couldn't do it yesterday when all this crap happened, it is now time for my Week 12 picks of the 2022 NFL season with the Thanksgiving games today. And of course, last week, I went 11 and free. The best week so far this season for me. Feels great. As finally had a massive increase in my stats too. So of course, anyways, is also, here is the playoff standings and the regular season stands at the season end of the day. In the AFC, it's the Chiefs with the bye, with Dolphins at Bengals, you know, Bengals at Dolphins, Patriots at Titans, Bills at Ravens, and the NFC is the Eagles with the bye, with Seahawks at Vikings, Giants at 49ers, and Cowboys at Buccaneers. And my Super Bowl pick right now would be the Eagles over the Dolphins. <clears throat> so, let's now get to my Week 12 picks, as we start off with the Thanksgiving games, as it's going to start off Today, with the Bills at Lions for the first time since 2014. The Bills won the last three. The Lions haven't beaten them since 2006. And how funny, too, since this happened after I did the video last week. How funny of the Bills playing in Detroit because of all the snow they had against the Browns this last week. And now they got to be there again as the away team. And, of course, the Lions and Bills had funny banter on Twitter about it. That was awesome. So, anyways, the Bills beat the Browns. No surprise there, although kind of was a lot closer than it honestly probably should have been. Meanwhile, the Lions, uh, yeah, they crushed the Giants, embarrassed them pretty much. Now they won three in a row and have beaten their win total from last year, trying to get closer and closer to 500. This will be a close game, I, I'm pretty sure. I think the Lions will give the Bills a, um, a huge fit, because they've been playing very good lately the last few weeks. But I'm still going to pick the Bills for this one. And then it's a huge NFC East matchup with um wild card spot on the line. Still up for grabs for division as the Giants are at the Cowboys. Cowboys won the last three. The Giants haven't beaten them since 2020, and they haven't won in Arlington since 2016. So the Giants, of course, got the shit kicked out of them by the Lions. Maybe they're starting to lose momentum after that 7-2 start. We'll see about that, even though the odds are still good to make the playoffs. Meanwhile, the Cowboys... Absolutely humiliated the Vikings. Completely destroyed them. Oh my god. That was insane. But I'm going to pick the Cowboys for this one. Then we get to the final Thanksgiving game. As it will be the Patriots at the Vikings for the first time since 2014. Patriots won the last five. The Vikings haven't beaten them since 2000. And, yeah, 2000. And they haven't won at home since 1997. As the Vikings try to get their... First win season since 2019. So the Patriots barely beat the Jets. It took a kickoff, I mean, a punt return with fi like 15 seconds left to finally get the win as offense played horrible. Defense is playing very good. Meanwhile, the Vikings, as I just mentioned, got completely obliterated by the Cowboys. This is why I did not really have a lot of faith in the Vikings. Yeah, a lot of their games are close and they're winning them all, unlike last year, but that's not good for me. A good team, an, a, an actual good team blows out regularly, consistently wins by a big margin, and they just didn't do it. To the point now, they have a negative point differential despite being 8-2. and two. That's like unthinkable for a team that's 8-2 and two usually. So yeah, as much as I would like to pick the, Cow the Vikings after that impressive victory against the um, Bills, I can't do that now after the Cowboys, so I'm picking the Patriots for this one. Let's see if the Vikings can show up and get a win season. Alright, then we get to the Sunday action. As it's going to start off with the Broncos at Panthers for the first time since 2020. The Broncos won the last three. The Panthers haven't beaten them since 2008 as the Panthers try to avoid a fifth straight losing season. So the Broncos, of course, lost in overtime to the Raiders, which once again, continuing to struggle. Meanwhile, the Panthers lost a defensive struggle to the Ravens. I was actually surprised how close it was, but still didn't really play that good as Sam Donald starting right now. Like, come on, Broncos. The Panthers suck, so surely you should win it, right? Right? Then it'll be the Buccaneers at Browns for the first time since 2014. The Buccaneers won the last one. The Browns haven't beaten them since 2014. The Buccaneers haven't won in Cleveland since 2006. 
So the Buccaneers came off their bye when they played the Seahawks in Germany. A very close game, but they got the victory as they're now back at 500, trying to get over 500 for the first time since week one. Meanwhile, the Browns, they put up a good fight against the Bills, but just couldn't win in the end, as this is, the I believe, the last game before um, Watson comes back. So if they win, that would be really good for them to try and maybe salvage and make a wild card potential possibility, because it's not looking really good for them right now. But I think I'm going to have to pick the Buccaneers for this one. The last two weeks, they've been playing a little bit better. Then it's the Ravens at the Jaguars for the first time since 2017. Even though the last one was in London. The Ravens won the last one. The Jaguars haven't beaten them since 2017. And the Ravens haven't won Jacksonville since 2006. So the Ravens, they beat the Panthers, but they did not really play good whatsoever in that one. 13-3, that's not really good. Meanwhile, the Jaguars... Can't remember exactly who they played. Just won't come to my head, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure... Were they on their bye last week? I don't remember. Like, I just don't remember who they played, unfortunately. But, unfortunately for the Ravens, I have a funny feeling the Jaguars, like they always usually do when they host the Ravens, they're going to put up a very strong fight. Because the Ravens usually struggle the last, like, 15-plus years when they visit the Jaguars. So, you know what? Maybe it's going to be an upset, but I'm actually going to pick the Jaguars to get because the Ravens, like last, yes, um, last week, just didn't look horrible against the um, Panthers. All right, then it's the Texans at the Dolphins for the second year in a row. As the Dolphins won the last one, the Texans haven't beaten them since 2018, and they haven't won in Miami since 2011, as the Texans try to avoid a third straight losing season. But they're still in the playoff race despite losing. Meanwhile, so the Texans... Uh... They got pretty much spanked by the Commanders as they have one of the worst offenses in the league. Meanwhile, the Dolphins, I believe, were on their bye last week. But I can't remember who they last played. But hey, 7-3 right now. Oh, yeah, 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 now I remember. They crushed the Browns. There we go. So, yeah. One of the best offenses in the league other than rushing it. I'm picking the Dolphins for this one. Then it's the Bears at Jets for the first time since 2014. Bears won the last five. The Jets haven't beaten them since 2000 as the Bears try to avoid a second straight losing season. And it's a good thing, that, there is one good thing about the hack. It made me delay the video a little bit longer because this gave me a whole bunch of time to learn some new information. So, the Bears lost a close one to the Falcons. But unfortunately, Tate, um, Justin Fields got injured. And from what I heard, it could be a season ending one. So, that's not really good. Meanwhile, the Jets, they lost a defensive struggle to the Patriots on that kickoff, I mean, a punt return. And they've now benched Zach Wilson. So, unfortunate for him, as the offense just not been doing good, as he's been awful this year. So, yeah, very interesting stat. I was going to this game, I was going to honestly pick the Bears, but now that I heard about the injury to Justin Fields, plus the Matt the, um, QB change, maybe Matt White will do better. I'm going to have to pick the Jets now for this one. All right, then it's... The um, rematch of the divisional round playoff game last year as the Bengals were at the Titans for the first time since 2017. Titans, I mean, the Bengals won the last one. The Titans haven't beaten them since 2017, and they haven't won at home since 2011. So the Bengals now are two games over 500, a very convincing victory over the Steelers, which, gee, maybe they should have done that week one. Maybe I would have picked them this week. But a good game. Oh, that's right. I did pick them. That's right. There we go. I'm an idiot. But yeah, good convincing victory. Meanwhile, the Titans, uh, oh yeah, they actually beat the Packers pretty convincingly right there. Once again, even though the Titans are not supposed to be good, they're still finding ways to win no matter what. It's just insane. And of course, remember, this is the divisional round rematch where Titans could have won it, but they choked away because Ryan Tannehill was so terrible in that game. But in the rematch, I'm actually still going to pick the Bengals for this one right now. Then it's an interesting out, I mean, a NFC matchup as the Falcons are at the Commanders for the first time since 2018. The Commanders won the last one. The Falcons haven't beaten them since 2018, and they have, and the Commanders haven't won at home since 2006. As the Falcons try to get back to 500 when they beat the Bears. Meanwhile, the Commanders for the first time over, I mean, over 500 since Week One. How about that? After starting off one and four, they've gone five and one since, as they have a winning record right now. As this is a big game for them too. Both of these teams really need to win badly, but I'm going to pick the Commanders now for this one, as they have a whole bunch of momentum on their side. All right, then we get to the 4 p.m. games. 
Starting off with the Chargers at the Cardinals for the first time since 2014. Chargers won the last one. The Cardinals haven't beaten them since 2014, and they haven't won at home. I mean, the Chargers haven't won on the road there since 2002. So, the Chargers lost a close one to the Chiefs, as they're now back at 500 again, as I fought just like a 500 team after last year. Meanwhile, the Cardinals got the absolute shit kicked out of them by the 49ers in Mexico City. As Kyler Murray didn't play, I think he's going to play this week, but ugh, it did not look really good whatsoever. That defense is also really, really bad. So I'm going to pick the Chargers for this one. Hit the post, there we go. Then it's the Raiders at the Seahawks for the first time since 2014. Seahawks won the last, first, last two. Raiders haven't beaten them since 2010. And they haven't won in Seattle since 1998 when they are both in the AFC West. So, the Raiders, overtime victory, but they got the victory over the Broncos to sweep them as they're still hanging in there. Meanwhile, the Seahawks came off their bye from a close loss to the Buccaneers as they're trying to get the 7-4. The Seahawks should not underestimate the Raiders. The Raiders have been playing, playing a lot better than their record indicates, and it could be a challenge, but I'm still going to pick the Seahawks for this one, but don't underestimate the Raiders. Then, what we thought was going to be a big match at the beginning of the year, nope, not anymore. As the Rams are at the Chiefs for the first time since 2014, the Chiefs, the Rams won the last one. Remember that Monday night game? In, how it say it was? As the they, the Chiefs haven't beaten them since 2014, and the Rams haven't won an Arrowhead since 1994. So, anyways, the Rams lost a close one to the Saints. As statistically, they have like the worst offense in the league. As Stafford once again is not going to be playing this week. Meanwhile, the Chiefs. Won a close one against the Chargers as they're trying to get like their 10th straight winning season. Yeah, I'm picking the Chiefs for this one, obviously. And then it's going to be the Saints at 49ers for the first time since 2016. As the Saints won the last one, the 49ers haven't beaten them since 2019. And they haven't won at home against the Saints since 2001 when they were both in the NFC West. So the Saints got the victory against the um, Rams to still be in competitive race in the NFC wildcard race. Meanwhile, the 49ers completely humiliated the Cardinals on Monday night as they're now leading the NFC West once again, trying to keep that momentum up. I'm going to pick the 49ers for this one. So then it's Sunday night, where they honestly should have maybe flexed out with something else, as the Packers are at the Eagles for the first time since 2016. As the Packers won the last one, the Eagles haven't beaten them since 2019. And they haven't won at home against them since 2006, which was also Monday night. So the Packers, after getting that needed victory over the Cowboys, they decided to choke it away against the Titans. As they're now 4-7, and seven, not looking really good, but still hanging in there in the playoff race. Meanwhile, the Eagles had that hard-fought game and had to pull up the comeback, but they beat the Colts. As they've now gotten their first win, no, second straight win season. As they're trying to get closer and closer to get clinch in a playoff spot. And of course, hoping soon to clinch the division. I'm picking the Eagles for this one. And then finally we get to Monday night as it's the Steelers at the Colts for the first time since 2017. Steelers won the last seven. The Colts haven't beaten them since 2008. And they haven't won at home against them since 2005. So the Steelers, of course, lost a close one to the Bengals. That's other than a rush defense. They're statistically like one of the worst teams in the league. Meanwhile, the Colts had a hard-fought game, like I predicted they would against the Eagles, but in the end, they just couldn't pull it off. But yeah, I'm picking the Colts for this one. Alright, so that is it for my picks. I cannot wait for the Thanksgiving games today, even though sadly I'm going to miss a bunch of them because of Thanksgiving stuff and MTWS. But anyways, my picks today are the Bills over the Lions, Cowboys over the Giants, Patriots over the Vikings, Broncos over the Panthers, Buccaneers over the Browns, Jaguars over the Ravens, Dolphins over the Texans, Jets over the Bears, Bengals over the Jets, Commanders over the Falcons, Chargers over the Cardinals, Seahawks over the Raiders. I don't know why I didn't post the Chiefs logo there. Chiefs over the Raiders. I mean, uh, Chiefs over the Rams. 49ers over the Saints, Eagles over the Packers, and Colts over the Steelers. So see you guys next Thursday, and hopefully on time without my channel getting hacked once again.